Welcome to the Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019 meeting of the CPC, our last meeting, we believe, of the spring. We will begin, as we always do, with general public comment, and there is no general public to comment. We'll move on to approval of minutes, and there are no minutes to approve. We'll move on to a chair's report, and there is no uh, report from the chair. So, zipping right along here. We have three council orders yeah. to approve. I have copies if anybody needs them. For our, um, I believe I should say round two, 2019. Uh, no, round one. Round two will be the fall. I thought. It never makes sense to me. It doesn't make sense. Because it's fiscal year, and it started yeah. off from the calendar. One should be when the money is there. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was unaware of that. Thank you. So let's begin with the smallest one, which is the um, which is the Broadway Coalition 6950. Um, let's look quickly at the now therefore be it ordered. Uh, are there any conditions that we want to put? Further conditions we want to put on this? Or are we good to go on this? Does anybody need them? Yeah. Sure. Hey, Dave. You just began. Hi, sorry. We're actually halfway through the agenda. Hmm? We're halfway through the agenda in 30 seconds. Oh, amazing. So, not much to do. So, um, we're looking at the BBC invasives removal. Um, and the question is are there any conditions that we want to set on this? All the whereases are good. Good to me. Yeah, that was a good summary. The whereases. Yeah, you do a very nice job in the whereases, Thank you. sir. Uh, do we do we vote on these individually? You no? can do them all at the same time. Okay. So let's move on. To the second one, which let's do the um, historic district, National Historic District in Florence. Take a quick moment to look at it, and again, focusing on whether there are any conditions we want to attach. I know we talked about activities once the National Register District is approved. Did we want to make that a condition of the contract or just communicate that to the applicant? Oops. We're not really funding those sorts of activities, so I don't know. I'm a little hard to make it a condition, but so I think communicate that. But I think we should encourage. I just had one comment on the second whereas. I think um, just the wording of it, um, uh, sort of there are two pieces to this. Um, so you come, I uh, will help preserve the built and natural landscapes associated with the abolitions, et cetera. And I think, and then there's an and, and I think you should have another will in there. Um, just to. And will increase okay. awareness? Correct. Good with that. I kind of stopped on the will help preserve and, and this, I could be talked out of this, but my concern was that people were always worried that putting a historic district um, somehow limits the property owners and the help preserve seemed a little stronger maybe than we wanted it to be because the, the, the Historic district in itself doesn't um, in any way mandate the preservation. Maybe encourage or something a little softer. Mm -hmm. Is there any state land or publicly owned land in that in the district or is it all private? Um, what about the Sunshine or Trip Memorial? And the, and the triangle and the spots there. So, Linda, you're suggesting a word switch preserve for something else? Yeah. Encourage preservation of it. Yeah, something like that. 
absolute bound by this. So Sarah suggesting can help encourage the preservation of the built in natural landscape. Can it help us encourage preservation? Will help encourage preservation. Say it again, Julie. Oh, um, will encourage preservation of building natural Any other suggestions? That sounds good to me. Encourage the preservation of or preservation of. Sarah's choice. <laughs> <laughs> Take your leave. So, creation of National Register Historic District will help encourage preservation of the built and natural landscapes. Associated with abolitionists, progressive reformers who founded Florence and will increase awareness mm -hmm. of important local historic resources. Uh, and we know that that 30,000, the last, therefore, is coming out of the historic reserve. Mm -hmm. Any other conditions on this one? We decided not to add a public presentation, but we will soon that will come out of this. Okay, good to go. Moving right along to number three. This one is a little clunkier than usual because it's combined with um, the city council orders to actually approve the acquisition of the property. So it, these are usually two separate documents. This time, this was one. Do we need wait, wait. So, so, so Wayne usually goes to council separately to have council his, approve his, the purchases. So this is both things combined into one order. I did have a question. Cool. Yeah. 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 On the order. Fourth line, it includes the, the above lands and any immediately adjoining land, and I didn't understand that. That is Wayne's standard language. I think he's had cases where things have come up for no additional cost uh, once a survey has been done or a neighbor has decided to donate something. So that wouldn't involve any extra money, but that's just his, his standard language for approval. A uh, third whereas, should that be a comma? Yeah. And then my other comment was on the next page, the second line that refers to the conservation of assigned upgrades project. Oh. Can you say that again? Uh, second page. Yeah. Second line. Conservation area signage upgrade. This pulled over language. Something else. This is not the conservation area signage upgrades. Uh, I think when I copied it, that second page didn't come out. Good. Good call. Oh, no, you did. Nice job. Yeah, you don't have the second. Is that? Yeah. Is that because? Is that so normal course? Uh, yes, it has. It's second reading scheduled for tomorrow. Okay. Any conditions? that we want on these? Are we good to go on all three of these? Yeah. So we need a motion, I believe, to uh, submit these to these three orders to city council. Just, sorry, I just caught um, on the last whereas on that first one. Um, I, I believe it ends with a period. Yes. Got that, sir? Yeah. Thank you. Is there a motion to send these on to City Council? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? All opposed? All right. So moving right along, uh, funding round debriefing. Uh, any suggestions for changes or improvement? 
I think we should always have more money than we have. <laughs> All in favor? Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Saying yes is the Yeah. I'm I'm agnostic. I just want the I just want the match. Any other suggestions for changes? Let's certainly move right along with the lead three major proposals. That's for sure. Have we heard anything from our friends in Boston about any possibility of change in the funding formula? I guess not. No, we got the 150, was it? Well, I saw that, but the, saw that, but nothing. Yeah, they're moving forward the legislation to change the registry of deeds. Fees. I don't know exactly where that is in the process. So I do have a, like informational question. My assumption is that any unspent funds automatically roll over to the next round and just and are fenced in whatever way they would normally be. Do we ever, um, when we saw that we were in a situation where we were gonna, I guess the deadline's already passed, so we can't really do that, but when we saw that we were in a situation where we had extra money, do we ever go out and recruit people? Say, look, we've got a couple extra bucks. We haven't. We don't really, the timing doesn't really work, because by the time we know. We know that the, the, the deadline for it is passed. The only way we could do it is if it was like small grants. Yeah. Well, what's the benefit of doing that? Just not, I mean, there, there have been times, for instance, where we whittled away on a large funding project in order to make room for others, having already uh, like, you know, yeah. and so, you know, so I think the last, the last go around with, um, was it up on Village Hill? We started at 400,000 and we worked our way down to 150 and, and you know, the will was there to do more. We just didn't have the cash to do it, or thought we didn't have the cash to do it. We did. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know. Because in principle, we had already said we were going to go further, you know, and we just, we just weren't able to do it. So is there a suggestion there? I don't know. I was just, uh, just curious. It's a, yeah. 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 Piggybacking on that, our, our, our whatever our book of rules ended in in 2018, and I don't know if we have any plans on going back and revising that. But what is our book of rules called again? Oh, the community preservation plan. Yeah. It would probably make sense to hold off until um, it's the same order handling. Sure. Yeah. Which but we could do minor edits if, if needed. I don't think there's anything that really stands no. out that no. needs to be corrected. And when is that report due? Uh, that will be started this fall. Starting. Yeah. There was there were some other grant funded plans that sort of jumped ahead of it in the queue. So the fact that our uh, plan ends in 2018 is not problematic in and of itself. No. But thank you for pointing that out. Any other suggestions, comments, critiques for this round? We did not do our shopping cart, but that seemed to work well when there's only only three things. else on this? Nope. Summer schedule. Do we need one? Do we need one? Uh, planning for next round. Moving <laughs> 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 right along. I got the uh, Grey's Anatomy to binge watch tonight. So it's behind the, behind the eight ball. Um, so schedule for the fall. Do we just want to plan on a Schedule that's approximately the same as it has been starting in September. I can follow up. We've with. done one. Have we done just one meeting in September? And then two uh, October? It's, it depends on when Labor Day is. I think Labor Day is early. Okay. And number of projects, too? Yeah. Okay. Are we good with that? I hope that we could have in mind the first meeting date. Mm -hmm. None of the rest of the meeting. No. Okay. I can, I'll send that out quickly. That would be great. Golly. Any other business not foreseen when agenda was published? I'm just curious. I, we may have talked about this at the last meeting, I don't remember. Um, whether, Sarah, you know if there are other applications that are going to be coming in? Anything? Uh, there are a few affordable housing projects, I believe. Habitat for Humanity will be coming back. Um, possibly the community builders. Mm -hmm. uh, Valley CDC as well, with the, with the combined project. And then 
No, I'm not aware of it. For different projects that we've seen before? I believe so. There's been a lot of progress on the, uh, the house on Elm Street. I think it was the other day. Yeah. Like, there's an yeah. article in the Gazette. Other one? And we're, we're talking about the, the, yeah, um, the Hatfield Street. Uh, the the Street. Yeah. 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 The Oswald Hatfield Street. Yeah. 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 I guess Greenfield like Savings. still fundraising, though. Very actively fundraising. Greenfield Savings gave, what, $10,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the shortfall is, I think, 300000 and they had a hundred fifty thousand bridge loan right from one of the banks. Yeah. So we're just trying to, but you know, they're building away, so and they're not coming back to us. They are not, no. Yeah, so and they provided documentation along with an invoice that has since been paid that they would have spent approximately an additionally an additional fifty thousand dollars and would have had delayed construction were it not for the award. So, yeah. So that that did what it was intended to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and we're just going to assume that there will be some more open space acquisitions. Is that correct for the fall? Uh, I, would, I would imagine so. Great. Any other business? All right. A motion to adjourn? So moved. A second. Our world record. What is it?